Hey guys, um, I want to give you a real quick view of the um, Stingray chassis with uh, uh, overdriven front tires on the front wheels. Uh, I have a 50 t uh, turn motor in the front and a 70 turn motor in the back. That'll give you faster speed in the front tires so that uh, it kind of acts as if um, you have something like a, like a dig but not really. It just makes the front wheels want to grip more and it makes you take a it makes you um, steer better, like it gives you sharper turns and all that stuff. Um, not that it's necessary uh, because you already have four wheel steering, but it's an extra and it, it helps to keep the body tight um, on the surface when you're coming up uh, inclines. It actually grips better instead of the whole body coming back. Um, YouTube, I got a video of this guy, you know, going up a real steep incline and eventually it does fall back, but with the faster front axle, it actually grips better and the back wheels don't push you know the body up like that which causes it to fall back instead it just flattens it out and you know there's more pulling up in the front um, also on top of having the faster axle in the front and the four wheel steering um, I do have a uh, the dig function on it uh, all the electronics are gonna fit inside of course you know the whole body uh, battery up front uh, this guy will be you know tucked in there and everything will work perfectly of course um, right now if you look at it you only have the front wheels going on and you go ahead and turn the dig off and you get the front and back you can see there how the front wheel is moving much faster well not much faster but substantially faster than the back wheel that's what I'm talking about when you're overdriving the front tires. Uh, a lot of guys do that with a 110 scale. What they do is they put a, a bigger pinion in the front if they have the, the motor on axle designs like the XR10. They'll make it go faster in the front than in the back. So that's what you're getting with this. It's pretty simple because all you got to do is just use a faster motor up in front. So that's that. And then we go back to... Oh, got it. Yeah. Turn it off, and then we go back to having the dig function. And then, of course, you have you know, front wheel steer, 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 steer. So you got all the steering, dig. Regular, faster front. So all the functions can be put into this chassis. Um, it's a lot easier now, of course. You know, having the the battery up in the front, which also gives you extra weight in the front axle, so you can actually crawl better. Um, let me turn this off. Yeah, like I said, it gives you extra weight up in the front. Um, try my best to try to make it follow the line of the body so it doesn't just look funky you know and uh, I think it turned out pretty okay uh, you don't need it but it makes it a lot easier if you're trying to put all these electronics in there not having to put the battery up in the back it's a lot easier yeah I gotta shorten these wires don't be hating <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and shorten these wires so this just you know sits in there and then rah, you end up with the hey the stingray chassis and uh, you can have all of those functions um, as most of guys most of you guys already know that the basher as it is is a extremely capable crawler as compared to all the other ones out there and uh, having this chassis gives you that extra clearance in there and then being able to do dig function and have a faster front axle, uh, they're, they're really no comparison. I mean, this is just a better performer than anything else out there. Uh, you, I have it right now with the five and a quarter inch uh, wheelbase. You could always just swap out the, um, the links here in, in the middle and make it longer, make it a six inch or even longer than that. I saw a guy that built one, it was like six and a half inch wheelbase, you know, put the way up there. It actually looked pretty cool. 
but I like to keep this one on the five and a quarter because that's the way that the chassis is designed to use the stock parts like the tri-link there and the one in back. Uh, this is the original design without modifying the, the length. But anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and put this together. See if I can find a place anywhere close that has um, some kinds of rocks or something that I could uh, ride it on. Drive it on and, and show you guys what I can do. Um, oh, the WPL aluminum wheels on scrambler, ta scrambler tires from RC4 wheel drive. Uh, adapters to be able to use these wheels on the 70 millimeter hex. And ah, gotta glue that in there. Battery box. There. I put a little bit of Elmer glue there. But I didn't let it dry. Just put like a um, double sided tape there. And that's pretty much it. Alright, I'm just rambling now. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed.